Okay, we've got question six here, and it's about fruit and veg, and it's also one of the ones where you've got a star, which means you've got to write down exactly what you're doing to get the marks. We've got a load of fruit and vegetables on our price list, and Dita wants to buy enough for one week for seven days. Okay, and she wants to buy at least two different fruits and two different vegetables, but she's only got ten pounds to spend. But we've got to have two different fruits and two different vegetables. Doesn't mean she has to have two different fruits and vegetables every day because you can't actually do that. The price list. Well, the way this is worded is just. It's really badly worded and it's really badly constructed, this question. I don't like it at all. But we will persevere with it. If she's got to buy five portions of fruit and veg every day, well, that means that's got to be five times seven days in a week. So we need 35 portions overall. That's what we need. We need 35 portions. Well, I'm going to start off by taking oranges because they're the cheapest. So let's buy... Um, Let's buy seven oranges, one for every day. That's going to be seven oranges is going to be one pound and forty pence. For about the next cheapest thing, that's a fruit, let's buy seven bananas. That's going to be seven times twenty-five is well four, that's one pound seventy-five, isn't it? Okay, so I've got two I've got enough fruit, one, one orange every day, one banana every day. Let's buy seven carrots every day. And that's going to be £1.40 as well. Seven times 20p. And then I start to get in a little bit of difficulty. Because now the food is starting to mount up. And um, if I, I can't, obviously can't buy seven cauliflowers because that's just going to be ridiculously expensive. And even seven broccoli is going to be quite expensive. So, although I've got two fruit here, I'm going to buy seven apples as well. And that's going to be £2.10. So I've got 7, 14, 21, 28, 28 different items. And I've spent, currently I've spent £1, £2, £3, £4, £5. Five pound eighty, five pound ninety, six pound sixty-five. I've spent six sixty-five. So I need to find out what else I'm going to buy in order to stay under ten pounds. But it has to. I have to have some vegetables in here, some somewhere. So I can't buy four to buy seven broccolis or seven cauliflowers. It doesn't work. But only says she wants to buy at least two. So I'm just going to buy one broccoli. Let's buy one broccoli, one portion of broccoli, and that's 75 pence. That ticks all the boxes about having two different fruits, oranges, bananas, apples, and two different vegetables, carrots and broccoli. But we haven't got our 35 portions yet. We've only got uh, 7, 14, 21, 28, 29 portions. So I need six more things. So I'm going to buy six more oranges just to make up. So I might have to have two oranges some days which makes pound twenty. So that means the total of all of these things added up now is £1, £2, £3, £4, £5, £6. So let's just note that down to help us out. Then it's going to be what? 40 80 another pound, that's £7, plus 75 and 75 which is another pound fifty plus uh, 10 pence. So totaling all that makes that £6, £7, £8, £8.60. Makes a total of £8.60. And that fits all the criteria now. It means I've got 35 different portions, okay, 35, no, 35 portions. I've got at least two different fruits and at least two different vegetables, okay. And um, I just happened to double up with oranges, otherwise I, I couldn't do it because I wouldn't have enough money. It's a really bad phrasing of the question. This makes it sound like you've got to have that every day, but you don't. 